Hey guys, welcome back to my OpenGL tutorial. I apologize for the last video. I I completely messed up in the towards the end and, and I apologize. I'm so sorry guys. I hope you can forgive me. But no, uh, let's continue. Uh, I'll, I'll try my best not to create another mistake, you know. Uh, so in this tutorial or this... Yeah, in this tutorial, I'm going to continue and we're going to create our... and uh, start initializing OpenGL. So what we can do is go to your properties. Well, first of all, only do this if you want to keep your stuff organized. Like I said in the previous video, um, I'm gonna have like a source folder or whatever, and I'm actually gonna create another folder in here that's gonna be that's gonna call header, where I'm gonna initialize all my header files. So if you're gonna do that, so follow me what I'm gonna do right now. So right click on your properties, and go to your C++ general, and inside additional include directories, you can include your header file. Oh, make sure you spell it. Or whatever you name that folder where you can keep your header files. Only if you're actually following me. So, just make sure it's there and then apply. Oh, wait, you know what? That's why you guys gotta remember to put in all configurations. I'm serious, guys. See, I'm already starting to make mistakes. <laughs> Oh my, I don't want to cry. I don't want to cry. Alright, so once you do that, you can include. I know you can actually do add. Wait, sometimes it goes off the rendering. The rendering bounding box, or whatever. So, if, you know, I know you could add and then add a class, but the problem with that, that is that it doesn't put it inside the folder or the header file. So, I, I'm going to have to do it one by one, unless you guys know how to do that. But, anyways. We can uh, include the header file, the .h file. Make sure it's in the header though. And we can name it OGL for short, unless you want to write that, write out the entire thing then. So I want to keep it short, you just call it OGL. And make sure it's in the header file, add it. Now you want to add a CVP file for it as well. Make sure it's in the source file. And you can name it OGL as well. All right, guys. Oh, nope. I didn't want to do that. Oh, I created a new folder. Damn. Where did I create a new folder? Where? Where did I create a new folder? Wait, what? what? It's in source. Okay. I could have deleted it there. Okay, let's delete that. I actually created a new folder by accident. Okay. So, go to your header file for the OGL. And... I actually do this thing I'll explain after after I write it so it's an F you can call it OGL it's kind of like the stuff that you need for a class is for, especially for the header files actually so that way you don't like I actually don't know how to explain it to you guys But I guess it's probably not to only will initialize once. If it's not initialized, then it will define it. Then you can initialize everything that's inside of here. And once it's initialized and you call this uh, class again, you probably it's not gonna go through here anymore. I don't know the reason, but if you actually don't put this, you will get error. And you will have to put something like pragma once. And that also saves your butt too, but I like to keep it this. I've seen it like in industries and companies that they do it this way, so I'm gonna do it this way. So, you can initialize it, this class, and we can include two different um, header files right now. So, you can include uh, glue.h and include, I'll make sure it's a pound sign. And you can include, oh no, it's, it's w glue dot h. So once you have that, we can uh, call some defines in here. Uh, we can uh, initialize some defines. So I'll explain after I've said it. So just follow me right now. 
So you can just send define WGL underscore context major version RAB ARB and you can set it to 0x 2091 it's a hexadecimal and you can initialize this one but for the minor And you can see 02092. You make sure you change it to minor. It's something we, we can do to initialize our, 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 how do you call it? Our, our OpenGL. Um, this doesn't, it's not included in here, so that's what we need to include it. You see, all the stuff is included here. And then for another one, we also can uh, some type defs. So we're gonna see the def type defs that that we need to access the OpenGL 4.0 functionality. So make sure you call it type def. Oh damn it! And it's gonna be H G L R C, and it's gonna be parentheses when happy. Or oh, I probably don't. I have a horrible way to pronounce the letters, so apologize, guys. And it's gonna be P F. This is a long one, so I apologize. P F N W G L, and create. At trips prog, oh, no, it's not here. Context. Okay, there we go. It's a long one. I apologize, and I'll explain afterwards real quick. Is HDC. HDC is basically like a little function. HGL RC H share. You can call it H share. I'll explain a bit guys I know it'd be like what the heck am I doing or maybe you guys know what I'm talking about I don't know so basically what this is it's something that's not in here it's not in here if you actually look in here and blue dot H if you scroll whatever you can notice that it's gonna contain a lot of stuff like a lot of type devs and like in here, whatever. A lot of type this, but for some reason, this is not included in here, so we need to include it ourselves. I don't know why it's not color coded, but it's not in here in any of these two files, so we need we we need to initialize it ourselves. So now, after we've done that, we're gonna create our class. Finally, we could create our class. Make sure to send my colon at the end because sometimes I forget that and I get errors and I don't know and it takes me forever to find out that that's that the only thing I forgot was this he mentions errors from other areas that has nothing to do with it and they're correctly fine but the issue is because of this thing right here so make sure there's a semi colon at the end seriously when I realize that seriously just I face palm myself so so you're gonna click the constructor and the destructor. And then we can uh, create a couple of functions in here. So the first function is we can uh, this function is basically will initialize OpenGL extensions. So it's gonna be a bool. Well, you don't have. It doesn't have to be a bool, but it'll be a good thing to have. Make sure. So that's what initialize our extensions. Another function that will initialize OpenGL. So you can call it bool initialize OGL. Another function 
which we're gonna need in order to uh, begin the scene for OpenGL. So this will begin the scene for OpenGL. So it's gonna be a void and call it begin scene. And you can pass in a red, blue, and green. Make sure you actually put a float in front of it, each one. Well, I'm going to put the other one right now real quick. Green. And float alpha. These are the parameters we can include in order to clear our screen to a certain color that we want with an alpha in it. And then again, and for the next one, you could guess what the next one is. Just guess, guys. Just guess. It starts with an E. And it has the letter C in there, too. So, And you guessed it right, guys. It's going to end the scene for OpenGL. Make sure you spell function. That's probably not necessary, but... So, and scene. And this function is, I guess, not really that necessary, but it is somehow I'm actually gonna when I'm initializing OpenGL, I'm also gonna initialize the graphics card and tell and write it into like an, in a shard or something, and it will tell you what beater card information it is and type of beater card you have. So I'm gonna do that for you guys too. So if you guys wanna include this function, you have you can. If not, you don't you don't have to. So. So function basically gets the name of the GPU. It's not necessary, but I guess you guys want it. Uh, here you go, guys. Thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. You're welcome. And we're gonna pass in a, a sharp value that will return, that will save the beta card info into that in here. So. And a couple more functions, guys. We're almost there. Probably, you know, I'm gonna type. I'm gonna start typing faster. Apologize, I type slow sometimes. But I don't know. So we have another function that will get our HWD, which is it's just it's a, it's just a type that we need in order when you initialize an OpenGL. You will see in a bit. So this will just return HWD and basically get HWD. Wait. I don't know, I, I've probably feel, I feel like I'm missing something guys don't know why this is not initialized hold on give me a second I know I might get errors right now I have no idea why oh no I don't I don't know why this is not color coded oh whatever anyways I'm, I'm wasting time for you guys so I apologize and for the next one, we're gonna have a function that will set our HWND for us. Mission HWND, it has to do with stuff with Windows, with our OpenGL window. So, so I'll say, and the last function we're gonna do is gonna is the function that will release our our stuff, you know, that will, that will delete everything that we need. So I release OpenGL. So it's gonna be void release. No. Okay. Now we're gonna create some more private functions. Not functions, I mean variables. Well, there's actually one more function that we need to initialize in here. And basically, this function will load our extensions. And so you can be bool lo load extensions. And we have a couple more. Now so we can initialize some variables. So this is going to be HTC M device content context. Another one is HGLLRC, and it's going to be the rendering context.
we can have an H domain D, which we can need to order to initialize our windows. And this is this is a long type, and I apologize, but I don't know why OpenGL creates all of this huge. I think that's the right one. We're gonna call it WGL create context attributes, which stands for attributes in case you did not know. And our last function, which is gonna be a char, which will contain our video card name and information of our video card. So video card description. And it could be 128 because it should not pass that. It should not go that far. So, and there you go. Make sure you're compiled and make sure it works. And if it does, then we can go to 